welcome to the garden. It's looking empty um, in the container garden. Today I'm doing a kind of fun project. It's something that happens to me, oh, you know, every, every so often throughout the growing season. And that is a refresh of the location of all the containers in the container garden. One year I attempted at the beginning of the year to keep all of my containers in one spot for the entire season and just grow with all the containers in the container garden in the same location and it just didn't work. <laughs> I thought I was gonna do it, kind of like challenge myself and then midway through the season, I was I stopped because you know, one of the best things about having a container garden is that you can move plants around. So as plants grow and their size change, or as you know like the light requirements or something you find like maybe i need to move a plant you can just move them and it's so nice and it's such a nice part of container gardening and i have found you know as as these plants are starting to change and grow um it's just time to move things around so that we get the best overall look so obviously the raised beds that i've got the, the big containers out here they're gonna stay in the same location i'm not gonna try to move like those around but all the little containers for the most part i'm gonna do some tweaking i'm gonna move a few of these containers to a few different places and just kind of give the garden a fresh look. So one, it's just more fun um, for me because the garden's gonna look different and it's gonna be pretty and interesting. And then also hopefully it will be better for some of the plants. I also have some containers that are kind of like, like I have this one Cosmo contain co container full of Cosmos that like it's, I think it's done for, for the season and it's a nice big container. So we'll pull it out and then I can always replant it um, if I want to, but I just I just need to change some things around. Uh, the coleus is looking a little bit sunburned. That needs to find a shadier spot. And so we're gonna do some tweaking. It's also a good time to come out here and just clean up under the containers. So you you can probably see it like on the ground there. Um, container gardens just get, oh, it's windy. It's, it's so windy here in the afternoon. Container gardens just get messy gets kind of messy under the container. So it's just easier um, to, you know, to clean it if you just move all the containers and you, I'm probably sweep. I may even just hose off um, the concrete just to give us a fresh start. And then we'll, we'll lay everything out. There are a couple containers that I'm going to keep in their locations for now. Two reasons why I'm keeping these containers in their location. So one is that they're really healthy and happy. So if you have a container that's doing really well in a spot, then you can kind of guess, right? Like the sun requirements are good. So I've got a couple containers that are really happy. They seem like they're growing really well. And then I also just like um, the balance of them in the garden, especially in this size garden that's pretty, it's pretty symmetrical. And so I'm, I'm liking to have a little bit of balance, like sunflowers on one side, sunflowers on the other side. Um, pink flowers here, pink flowers there. I'm trying to keep some sense of, of balance and cohesion through each side. I don't want it to look matchy matchy. It doesn't need to be perfectly, you know, symmetrical. Obviously I have different size containers in these smaller containers, but I do want it to look balanced. I don't want all of the sunflowers on one side or all of the blue flowers on one side, etc. So I'm gonna move some of the smaller containers around and we'll just kind of try to find like a nice balance for all of these containers that hopefully draws your eye through the garden, makes it look just pretty and full. And then we'll just also weed out some of the containers that aren't doing well. So it's really windy. I may just <laughs> take a few video clips um, of what what we got that's staying out here in the garden and then i'll do like a voiceover because yeah the wind in the afternoon is kind kind of wild um but the sunflower container over there that guy is staying with the kufia it balances the kufia and the sunflowers perfectly and actually my like hanging basket that's not a hanging basket it's gonna stay where it is too let me show you so I really love this combination of containers that we've got over here on this side of the garden. So these are all actually going to be staying. This is the hanging basket that has now just become a container. It's looking so beautiful. The color combination is really great and the agastache is so pretty. There's bees all over it all of the time. Um, and it's growing really well in the sun and everything there. So we're keeping that. And then I've got a little pink petunia, which I think just balances the pink nicely. So I want to keep that there as well. And then of course the salvia and the dreamsicle 
uh, caliber koas are really beautiful and of course we've got the corn right there and then this is the container that I was talking about with the sunflowers and that's just such a beautiful container so I'm just gonna leave it as if it's doing well then I'm happy and it's finally starting to bloom the first sunflowers are coming up on it or opening up I should say and yeah just everything is growing together really nicely hopefully that sweet potato vine will start taking off but the kufia is really really happy so we're gonna leave all everything there I'm also just gonna leave this clematis right here uh, it's not really doing much right now but I'm hoping that it's gonna survive in that spot and then it will rebloom maybe a little later in the season and then I did move the tromboncino back I felt like it wasn't getting quite enough sun where I had it next to my big pollinator container so we're gonna try it right here I'm hoping that this tromboncino is gonna be happy over here because it's definitely gonna be getting um, I think a bit more sun <sighs> I'm tempted to move it to the other side of the trough here, but my only reason why I may not end up doing that is because I'm actually, my arch trellis is coming like in the next couple days for the tomatoes in these troughs. And I don't really want the tromboncino to start growing on the arch trellis because while it is a sturdy arch trellis, it is not that strong. I don't think it's going to be able to handle like big squash growing on it. It's going to be fine for the tomatoes, but it's not going to be um, tromboncino level. So here it can grow up. It can kind of, you know, spill around this corner of the trough and fill this corner of the garden. Um, and I think that will be good. I also have, I'm going to, on the other side of the garden over there, I have um, the pumpkins and the corn. And so they got the pumpkins and the corn on, on that side. And I think, um, that those will be like big, that'll be a big vine. So I think we'll have the trombones, you know, over here, it'll be another big vine. And then I think I may bring the window box of corn actually to the front of this um, trough planter as well, because it'll again, just kind of like balance the corn. Um, so we've got the big corn in the big raised bed, and then we've got the corn in the window box. And then I have actually a few other little containers of corn that I'm gonna try to spread out around the garden too and just just make sure I'm spreading all these things out in the best possible way so that they're you know getting what they need but we're just yeah we're just keeping that balance okay so now I'm going to clean up I think probably the easiest way is just to get out the hose and hose down this uh this area and I need to water all the plants too because they are looking dry be a little careful too as I'm laying out this garden that I can still get my my hose back in and around and water all of these containers it has been so hot the heat is just coming up more and more and it's getting really dry out here and um I I've had a few accidents where I've like pulled the hose across a container um the one little salvia that's it's gotten bumped a few times and so I gotta try to keep that in mind too but I think I think we can do it and yeah let's get going let's just get it cleaned up we'll hose it all down water the plants and then we will start on putting all of the plants back where they go so far I just have the idea for the corn the rest of it's gonna be spur of the moment so we'll see what happens these are all of the containers that I pulled you can see I've got the sunflowers there I'm just trying to give everything a good dose of water it has been such a challenge to keep on top of this um, and make sure that everything gets all the water that it needs uh, but this way too hopefully it'll keep the container garden a little cleaner by just watering everything over here there always seems to be some kind of dirt that spills out when you're watering so the corn's right there and then these are the two little containers of small corn that I need to find some places for and this adorable little gypsy pepper look at that that's gonna be ready to pick pretty soon here I'm, I'm pretty sure we're gonna start having some harvests and then that is the poor coleus that really needs to find a shadier location in the garden so just giving everything a little bit of water and this is the container of cosmos that I think I think it's done also there's something wrong with the soil or maybe the cosmos have just used it up because all of the little zinnias that I planted in there really haven't been growing 
they've just kind of stopped. And I've had this issue with a bunch of the potting soil that I got this, like the first round this spring, all of that potting soil um, just really is not growing well and the plants are kind of stunted. And then over here, those are the two newest containers that I just created. So I'm gonna have to find some spots for those too. It's a fun challenge trying to figure out where to put in the different containers. So I decided to put one of the little corn containers over to the back of the garden so that um, it would just kind of have the corn in a few different places now and some just some nice repeats. Repeating different um, colors and flowers and plants is really important to kind of keep some rest for your eye, especially when you have a very busy garden like this. And then I put together some of just the newer containers that I have where I'm not really quite sure where I want them. I stuck them over in that central area in the garden too. And then I did put a couple things back in this area where I had them before. I really liked the little area over here next to this pollinator container. And then I moved the gypsy pepper next to it. I think it's a pretty good um, full sun area, which is going to be good for the pepper. The pepper is going to like that. And I thought um, I put some little calabacoas over here and then those are the morning glories. And so those will go up the arch trellis. Once we have the arch trellis in place, I think the morning glories are going to be super pretty as something to grow up over. And I just put some more of the sunflowers um, in this kind of central area. Again, just trying to repeat some of the colors and spread all those repeats out as evenly as I possibly could. And just kind of worked my way as slowly as I could, giving myself time to kind of look at the garden as a whole to make sure I got all those repeats right. I ended up putting the salvia and my other salvia and dreamsicle container back where I had it because I thought it it looked really beautiful in that area and I like to look at it from where I'm sitting um, in my patio space and I think the coleus hopefully is going to get some shade right over there. I'm kind of struggling as I'm putting these containers in their places with where I want to look at my garden from. Um, of course I've got my patio seating yard area where I like to to be looking at the garden sort of straight toward the front but I also am walking in the garden and I don't want to put too many things like in front of the garden I don't really want to spread it out I'm trying to balance some more pink over here um, but yeah I just don't want to start spreading the garden out too far into our backyard I'm trying to leave some of the backyard patio space and keep this garden kind of contained but the overall vision of the garden is a little tricky, so I found myself kind of just struggling a little bit to try to figure out where I wanted everything to go. Um, but I, yeah, when I'm in those situations, I felt like I just went with making sure that I had things like here's another corn. So I decided to go ahead and put that next to the pollinator container because then at least we've got corn in each and different separate spots of the garden and they're not all clump together or right next to each other and hopefully that will just help the overall look of the garden in general and I'm trying to spread out my little sunflowers as well just working on that that overall view so here is the final location at least for the moment of everything I'm trying to make sure I turn all my containers so I've got all the pl tags and plant tags toward the back I'm not sure about this area right here <laughs> and then um, yeah the rest of the garden I just kind of put all those things back just tucked in everything next to the sunflowers but overall I think it's looking nice well I think I'm gonna leave it where I have it set up like this for now um, and We'll just kind of see as things keep growing how that changes it's an interesting challenge it's a really interesting challenge growing in all containers like this 
and the way that I have it set up in the two rows. Um, I think if this were my long-term garden, I would probably take that kitchen garden bed that's in the middle that has all the vegetables in it and maybe move it to a different place so that you could kind of more like walk into a U-shaped or an L-shaped garden. I'm realizing now in my last garden that that was really a big element of it. I never felt like my view was blocked off because you it was just a, it was a U. It was basically a U. And what I've done with that kitchen bed raised, raised bed is I've like put um, a container <laughs> right in the middle of the U of like the area that would be for viewing the garden. So that's an interesting like that's an interesting piece of this. It is sort of nice that, um, if you can see, hear that like squeaking, that's the water sinking into the um, cement. It kind of sounds like crickets or bugs, but it's just the water um, going into the cement. You know, this garden is such a, a good learning experience for me. I mean, growing all in containers is is a fun challenge. It's totally doable. I was going to say, it's like, it's doable. I don't want to dissuade anyone from doing it, but it's, it's a challenge. And the layout is so key. Oh my gosh. You know, you learn so much as you go. And that's, that's definitely a piece now as I'm sitting here, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's what's making it tricky. But I am with having that kitchen garden bed right there, I'm able to utilize this space so much more. Space is a premium and um, we, we have so much of the, the yard that I want to leave for my daughters um, to play so you know it's okay it's just gonna be an interesting an interesting piece of, of designing this garden but it's kind of fun to like sneak through and look at all the little pots and everything uh, and you also kind of learn like there definitely is like a front to the garden as far as where the plants want to go and to the sun which works for looking at the garden um, but of course again the kitchen the kitchen garden bed is like right in the middle of, of where sort of your, your view is and blocks off that middle section but that's okay there's something you know there is something good about the mystery of the garden and being able to get through and and find different um little corners and and, and different pots that you didn't see before um and so forth it's it, it's a cool part of the garden I really love it. I mean, I really do love it. This has been a really interesting year. This is a temporary garden. We're going to be gone next year, hopefully to our forever garden. This is like a temporary space. So it's been a little bit of an interesting year. Um, I guess just a little bit like emotionally dealing with a temporary space, but you know, it just, oh, it just brings so much joy and happiness. And even if it's all you know, for like, if it's all going to be gone, it doesn't matter. It's still so fun. And I love, genuinely love coming out and rearranging all the containers. It is a great part of container gardening. So I may move these all around again, or I may move a few. I'm not quite settled on this like back area, the back center of the garden, but I think I have a fun idea for when my new containers come. So I'm just kind of leaving those bits and pieces. We'll, we'll deal with that all later. Um, just let all the plants grow. Basically the biggest thing I need to do was get that coleus out of the sun because it was getting so sunburned oh my gosh it's supposed to be able to handle full sun that was what they said sun to shade and I was all excited when I found it I think I was on here telling you like this is a great plan because it's sun and shade and you can do it but we have I mean we have serious sun in this garden there's a reason the sunflowers are doing well because we have serious sun and it is hot and I think it just is like too much for the coleus but the amaranth and the sunflowers cast a big shade. So that that will help that will help them them a lot. And I think we got the balance right. We've got corn and everything distributed. I did work a little bit on making sure the colors um, are kind of all set up. So I think the garden looks good. A good day. Um, a good day rearranging the container garden. So much fun. If you're doing container gardening, always remember it's you can move it. So don't worry too much about, you know, where you set everything up because you can always move things around. Um, everything's water now. So I think I'm done for tonight. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. Well, I think that 
as I was saying, that is all for tonight. Um, I still need to do some more sweeping up. I didn't get it perfectly clean, but I wanted to get ahead in the project while I still had some sunlight. So we got that done. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. We have an arch coming and some more things happening out here. So the garden is going to continue to change and just get better and better. I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.